Look, you are here because you're a solo player and you don't want to farm that much? Then let me introduce you to the Oakland. So normally you get offline raided. For this base we're using the most common bunker right now, the God Bunker. We're gonna make sure you won't get raided again. This base takes at least 30 rockets to get inside your most available loot and costs less than 20,000 materials. As you can see this build is ultra cheap to build and also super low on upkeep. Alright, let's get right into the tour. So our tour starts in a simple airlock heading to the upper floor. We have got 10 electric furnaces right here. 8 large boxes and at least 5 small ones. You can fit some more inside if you want to. Also we've got our locker, our electric stuff down there and that's our core with another 9 large boxes, 2 vending machines and between the vending machines we've got our TC covered to a reinforced window. I'm gonna pick this up and you see the upkeep is ultra budget. Alright, let's get right into the build. We're just gonna start with a simple one by one, attach to a triangle foundation, surround it with walls and use a double door frame. Make sure you're going to place it you see as shown in the video close to the middle exactly like this place a window frame before it and we're just gonna go and add two large boxes and some furnace and if you do you can also add two sleeping bags or additional another furnace Make sure you lock your TC. Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and start with the airlock. For this one we're just gonna place a normal foundation. Like we built a normal 2x1. Attach another double door frame. So we are safe for the moment. No one can go deep. And also make sure you won't use code locks if you're a solo player. If you're a dual player, go ahead and use code locks. This room is also completely up to you. I'm just gonna place a workbench tier 2 right there. Two large boxes, another furnace. You can also go ahead and place some more furnaces. Or move the sleeping bags out of the core inside the front room. It's completely up to you. So now we jump into the most interesting part, the bunker. For this one we're gonna go ahead and go 9 squares out. At the end place a normal foundation, remove all the squares. And go back with normal foundations. Place the triangles right there, you can also go ahead and upgrade them. So this is pretty interesting, make sure you look to the left side, then you will see the white stones on the twig on the left side and this is exactly what we want. So go ahead and upgrade this as well. Remove all the square foundations. Go back to the triangle, place another normal foundation. Go again out to 9 triangle foundations and just go ahead and repeat the same. So also we go back with normal foundations, make sure they attach to the normal foundations, to the square ones, and this wall should be also try to place far back as possible. All right, we can remove everything and make sure you're gonna place the floor triangles to the wall and this one to this. That's pretty important if you do it exactly like in the video and then you will be able 
to place the triangle inside of the triangle frame. You can go ahead and also place double door frame here and place another door and just use the furnace as a jump up. So go far back as possible in this corner, place the door frame and you will be able to place the triangle, yes exactly like this. And if we move the door frame it will be open. Now we are going to add another door to the second floor. Also just with a normal double door frame. Also I'm testing all the time if the bunker is still working. Sometimes there can happen some mistakes, I don't know why. So make sure you're gonna test it also sometimes. So we go ahead and place a normal honeycomb completely around. On this side we are using a square for another loot room on the second floor. So, alright, let's go and add the normal airlock. If you don't have a reinforced window right now, you can just use wood frames to protect people from jumping in. Also, you can use these triangles for another optional loot rooms, for example, for a locker or for your workbench T2 inside. Depends up to you what you're gonna do. The space is pretty modular, so you can change a lot. Um, this step you shouldn't do as me because the loot room is a little bit less optional than the other one so don't place So we're gonna remove all the normal doors, if you have, place garage doors. It increases rate costs in early game a lot. So, the footprint is completely done, we're just going to add the jump up. So we're going to remove all the doors and we're going to upgrade the main core to high quality metal. 
I mean, metal for the moment would be fine as well, but I'm gonna show you how it should look at the end. This one we have to upgrade from the top side, or you can have the AMO. Yes, exactly like this. So while placing the vending machines, make sure you have got a gap between the two vending machines or you're fucked up. So make sure you're gonna do it exactly like me. So and you will be able to open up the TC to this gap. And also pretty important, make sure the TC is locked, otherwise you will not be able to do it later on. Disable the broadcasting or other people will see you have got some vending machines inside your base. simply go ahead and place two large boxes, a sleeping bag. Also pretty important that you place a sleeping bag inside your main core, otherwise you will not be able to open up your bunker and this will be pretty fucked up later on. It can be a little bit tricky to place these four boxes, it can take some time, but if you slide on the gaps it will be possible. So now go ahead and place your triangle right there. And you will be able to place another large box on top and three small boxes as well. If you're gonna place these too low, you will be not able to replace the boxes if you destroy them or something like that. So make sure it's a little bit up to it. You can go ahead and place another large box in the small box. You can also place a fridge or another locker, depends how you want to use it. To get some charcoal cooking I'm gonna use three normal furnaces because we are just using upstairs electric ones and um, we don't have any resource for getting charcoal. So simply go ahead and upgrade everything to metal. And make sure you leave this one right here for the door frame. Every time free, don't place a wall or a double door frame. It will fuck you up later on. So we're gonna use these two small triangle rooms right here for our furnace rooms. You will be able to place five electric furnaces inside, three on the bottom, two on the top, and also additional two small boxes because it's some tricky to place these you can use a box or something to boost you a little bit up
on this side you're not able to place anything on this gap right there so we have to go on the outside and just go ahead and place a half wall and the floor triangle yes, exactly like this and we've got another furnace room right there another additional five furnaces and two boxes also i'm going to add a barbecue in there Sadly, I'm not able to place a double door frame right there, so it's open. So, right here, I'm gonna just remove this one because it's wrong, as I told you before. I hope you didn't do it. Otherwise, if you do it, it's not that wrong. You can just place then four large boxes and another four small one. Depends how you're gonna like your loot rooms, yeah. I like my loot rooms like this with five large boxes and additional three small ones and right here I changed the floor to normal stone because I fucking hated to place boxes on the adobe skin. I don't know, I'm so used to the stone that the adobe feels so weird while placing boxes. so annoying with the door frames. I just recommend to place the beds later on because it can be annoying as you will see in the next two minutes with the workbench tattoo and the boxes it will not directly fit if you place beds like shown so make sure they are I don't know like five centimeters more left and will be placeable but I didn't did so so I have to remove them sometimes And guys, if you're going to enjoy the build so far, please recommend subscribing or leave a like or just get in touch with me in the comments if you got any issues with the build or you have any improvements. I mean, the space is pretty modular as I said before, so if you got some changes, let me know. So, we just go ahead and grade everything up to metal. The ground floor should be your first priority after about the second floor.
if you want you can also get the honeycomb for the second floor as well i didn't do it but you can it's not a problem it's just easier for the triangle so it's there you can just simply go to the second floor as well I highly recommend to place an um, armor door right here. It will increase raid cost if raiders go possibility to the doors. So the bunker is also still working amazing. And if you're gonna place the door frame like that, it will be not working. You have to be in the corner. So remove it. Go back in the corner. Place the door frame like shown and you will be able to place a triangle. So, and that's it so far with the base build. I hope you enjoy the video guys. See you in the next one.